The Little Princess with a Big Heart by Uncle Steve Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a wonderful kingdom called Herndon. Everyone who lived there knew that Herndon was a special place. The grass was the greeniest green. The sky was the bluiest blue. The flowers bloomed in all sorts of amazing colors. People were kind to one another. Yes, everyone in Herndon was happy. They were happy because people were kind to one another. They were happy because the weather was usually very nice. But most of all, they were happy because they loved the royal family who ruled Herndon. King Daddy was a wise ruler. He cared for his people, and he did what he could to make sure that everything in Herndon worked the way it should. Queen Mommy was a wise ruler. She found out what people needed and tried very hard to help them. King Daddy and Queen Mommy had two daughters, Princess Gwen and Princess Eleanor. Princess Gwen was very little, but she was a happy child. She loved to sing and dance, tell stories, and play with her older sister. Princess Eleanor was also little, but not as little as Princess Gwen. Princess Eleanor was the nicest girl the world had ever seen. She was smart and kind and oh so pretty. She liked to read and fix things and help keep the palace neat and clean. She also liked to play with her little sister. Princess Gwen and Princess Eleanor each had a pet. Princess Gwen had a kangaroo named Kiki. Princess Eleanor had a flamingo named Chessie. One day, Princess Gwen, Princess Eleanor, Kiki, and Chessie were having a tea party. It was such a nice day that they were sitting outside on the lawn. Suddenly, a huge dragon named Jenny flew through the sky, swooped down, and carried off Kiki and Chessie. Oh, no! Princess Gwen and Princess Eleanor cried. They were sad that their friends, Kiki and Chessie, had been taken by the dragon Jenny. They ran to King Daddy and Queen Mommy and said, Kiki and Chessie were just taken away by a huge dragon. What can we do to get them back? Princess Gwen could not stop crying. Eleanor had an idea. We should send for the wise royal counselor, Grammy. She always knows what to do. So they sent for Grammy. When Grammy came, Princess Eleanor told her about the dragon Jenny and how she swooped down and carried off Kiki and Chessie. Grammy said, There is only one thing to do. We need someone to go after the dragon and tell her that it is wrong to carry off somebody's pets. We need somebody who can help the dragon understand that it is better to be nice than to be mean. We need somebody who is brave and has a big heart. Queen Mommy said to Grammy, I would go after Jenny the dragon, but I have to stay here and run the kingdom. I need to be able to help all the people of Herndon. King Daddy said to Grammy, I would go after Jenny the dragon, but I have to stay here and run the kingdom. I need to make sure that everything works the way it should. Of course, Princess Gwen was too little to go after Jenny the dragon. Everyone looked at Princess Eleanor, who said, I will go after Jenny the dragon because I love Kiki and Chessie and want to rescue them. Grammy smiled and said, Princess Eleanor, you have a very big heart. So Princess Eleanor went off in search of Jenny the dragon. She found her in a cave not far from the palace. Luckily, Kiki the kangaroo and Chessie the flamingo were there too. Jenny was angry. She was yelling at Kiki and Chessie. She shouted, Play with me! I want you to like me! Kiki and Chessie were scared. They started crying. Princess Eleanor was scared, too, but she knew what to do. She walked right up to the dragon and said, You cannot make anyone like you by shouting at them. If you want to have friends, you have to be nice. Jenny answered, I don't know how to be nice, so I don't have any friends. People see me and they say, look, it's a big scary dragon, and they run away. So I shout at them and chase them. Princess Eleanor thought for a minute, then she said, try not to shout. Ask people nicely for what you want, and if they ask you nicely for something, be kind and help them. Then they will want to be your friend. It's no use, said Jenny. 
Nobody wants to be my friend. Princess Eleanor walked right up to Jenny and hugged her. Then she said, I will be your friend. Would you like to come to a tea party with Princess Gwen, Kiki, and Chessie? Oh, yes, said Jenny, who had never been hugged before. But Kiki and Chessie won't want me to be at the tea party. They're scared of me. See how they're crying? Princess Eleanor told her, You must be kind to them. Tell them you are sorry you swooped down and carried them away. Tell them you want to be their friend, and ask them very kindly if they would be your friends. So Jenny the dragon bent her big head down and in her quietest voice said, Kiki and Shessy, I'm sorry I swooped down and carried you away. I see now that I scared you. I won't do it any more. I would like to be your friend. Will you be my friends? Kiki, Shessy, Princess Eleanor, and Jenny all hugged each other and said they would be best friends. Jenny flew everyone back to the castle. King Daddy and Queen Mommy were happy to see Princess Eleanor home safe and sound. Princess Eleanor said, I would like you to meet Jenny. She is sorry that she used to scare people, but she wants to be nice to everyone now. She is my friend. Jenny, Princess Eleanor, Princess Gwen, Kiki and Chessie went outside to have a tea party, as friends like to do. Grammy smiled and told everyone, even a little princess can have a big heart. Because Princess Eleanor was kind and generous, everyone could have a happy ending. And that is just what they did.